Oh, oh, oh. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me when you're ready in there, Chuck. You got the entire country has watched the volunteers who've been filling and stacking sandbags. You exemplify the concept of neighbor helping neighbor, which is the very basis of our way of life. You know, in Washington, there's a very famous statue of our soldiers raising the flag at Iwo Jima. Well, maybe the sight of volunteers keeping back the force of river waters by lifting sandbags would make another dramatic statue symbolizing America's character. I've just returned from visiting a flood-ravaged area in this part of the state. What we've seen has given human shape to the statistics the nation has been hearing about Louisiana. Two dead, hundreds injured, nearly 10,000 homeless, thousands of dwellings damaged or destroyed. I'm told in the Monroe area alone, 2,000 homes have been damaged, 12,600 acres of farmland have also been damaged. The flood, whether in Louisiana or Mississippi or in Arkansas, remains as dangerous today as it was in ancient biblical times. Louisiana's public officials are doing everything possible to lessen the disaster. I've been briefed by your governors. They've been doing a tremendous job as well. And as you'd expect, the National Guard and the Red Cross are on the scene of the Salvation Army. You can take pride in the way your whole state is pulling together to meet this crisis. As in past national disasters, the entire nation wants to come to your aid. Federal and state officials are working now to assess the extent of the damage. I know Governor Treen is framing a request that portions of Louisiana be declared a disaster area. I have told Governor Treen that I approve that request. The federal government will provide every bit of assistance possible and without delay. The Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Army Corps of Engineers are already at work. We must all do everything we can to help our neighbors in Louisiana rebuild their lives. I know the crest of the flood may not yet have arrived and the situation may become the helping hand. With your courage and the nation's support, Louisiana will come through the flood, and then you'll do what is in every American's blood, rebuild with hope and determination. And may I just add that any of you who would like to help in this disaster, you could direct that help, earmarked for this particular disaster, in contributions to the Red Cross and the Salvation Army. Thank you, and God bless you.